The reason of this video recording is to make data sexier or to make charts sexier. Imagine that I have a fruit farm and I want to report where my income or profits are coming from. So let's imagine this. I'm inserting a chart and I'm using a 100% stacked column chart like so. And now I can report. So I have, for example, Granny Smith, Pink Lady, and Jonah Gold. Those are the apples that I have. And we are reporting on this year, 2020. Okay, let's get rid of the other categories. I don't need to erase the data because we are just showing this information like here. And here, let me switch the layout to blank. And this is how you can present where your income is coming from. So this is one example, but this can be more sexier. Let me duplicate this slide so that we can compare later on. I'm going to change the gap width. So it's 100, 150% now. So let me lower this. And basically you see it happening. We have to go to 0%. So it's filling all the chart. So that's one. Okay. And now we are going to make it sexier. And for this, I'm adding a new slide. I'm inserting a rectangle starting the left top to the bottom, full slide. The color we can do later on. And now we are going to insert a icon. So we are reporting about the Apple industry or the Apple profits. So I'm going to insert an Apple icon that's too small. So we have to make it bigger. So we have to try to get something that can fit the chart that we have something like this now we select graphic graphics format convert to shape so remember i inserted this as an icon so basically this is an image you can't change anything maybe the color but you can't change the the, the sides and, and the look and feel so this leaf i can't make it smaller or bigger uh, and so on so when I convert this to shape, it is now a PowerPoint shape as if I would have drawn this manually. So now you can click here, edit points, and you can change the look and feel of the apple uh, and the leaf. I'm not a good designer, something like this. You can all make changes. So let me switch back to the original apple, which is much better. So this is one. So I select the apple, I hold my shift key and I select the background rectangle as well. So now I have two shapes selected. Shape format, merge shapes, and I'm using the combine option here. So combine is basically cutting out the apple from the rectangle. So now you can see when I move around, you see here at the bottom that the apple is transparent and cut out from the frame. So now I can set the fill color of the background. And maybe we can use something green like so. And I copy this now, copy, and I paste it on the slide with my chart. Paste. There it is. And now we see that we have to so basically we see now the chart coming through the apple. So this is another visual presentation of our data. And now we are missing the legend. So let me add a text box here. So this was Jonah Gold. This font 
a bit bigger. Duplicating this here and there. This was Granny Smith. And this is Pink Lady. So now I only have to complete the legend. You see already that this gray is Jonah Gold, um, but you can make it better by using the eyedropper tool. And then we click on the color that we want to use. So that's that one. For the pink lady text box, we do again the eyedropper, select here, select the text box for Granny Smith, eyedropper tool, and we have the blue for the Granny Smith. So this is where we came from. And this is the new visually more attractive presentation of our data. And it's maybe not as accurate as you see here, because here you can see that 22, 23% is coming from the Jonah Gold, and 30% from Pink Lady, and 49% for, for, for Granny Smith. Here we maybe do not see the exact numbers. If you really want to see it, you can still place the numbers on the chart or next to here, the text boxes, uh, and so on to, to show the physical numbers. But the idea of a more sexy or more understandable representation of our sexier chart here is that we see that the majority of the profit that a company is making or selling at the stock market is coming from the Granny Smith. And that's more important. And this is visually much more attractive than just putting up those three numbers as a text box with a percentage or just by using this chart. So this is much better. Allow me to give you a second tip to make charting and reporting sexier. We have at presentationpoint.com, we have a product called DataPoint. And DataPoint is a PowerPoint plugin where you can connect your slides to your data. So you can connect to a Microsoft Excel worksheet or even production data that you have in a Microsoft SQL server and so on. You can display live news, live weather, live KPIs and so on. So the idea of data point is that you connect your slides and charts and text boxes to your data sources. And when you open your presentation, the information will be updated automatically. So you are not looking at old information and old presentations anymore. So you can even run the slideshow and data point will continuously check your data source and update the text boxes and the charts and the images on your slideshow while it is running, just like flight information at an airport presentation point and the product is called data point a real time saver